Linda Maria Ronstadt is a famous American singer and songwriter who has achieved immense popularity and success in the world of music. Starting in the late 60s her music career spans across four decades and encompasses music from different genres including rock, rhythm blues, folk music and jazz among others. Her versatility in delivering a wide range of styles and her mesmerizing voice appealed the masses. Through her music people came to enjoy the more conventional Mexican music and older pop versions as also work of the likes of Chuck Berry, Elvis Costello and Buddy Holly. During the 70s she remained the most successful and top-selling female singer who was tagged Queen of Rock and First Lady of Rock. She emerged as the first female to achieve arena-class rock star fame with her chart-bursting albums like Simple Dreams and Heart Like a Wheel. The latter fetched her first of her 11 Grammy Awards. In her music career, she has achieved great heights including earning many platinum and multi-platinum albums, induction in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, being enlisted several times in the Billboard Hot 100 and Billboard Album Chart, among others. She has earned several awards including Emmy Award, Alma Award, Academy of Country Music Awards and American Music Awards among numerous others. She was born on July 15, 1946 to Gilbert Ronstadt and Ruth Mary, Copeman, Ronstadt. Her father was a wealthy merchant and her mother a homemaker. She belonged to an influential family whose contributions in Arizona in the fields of commerce, wagon making, music and others were immense which are recorded in the Library of University of Arizona. She was brought up along with her siblings Peter, Michael J., and Gretchen in the family ranch. A musical atmosphere prevailed in her home since childhood with her father teaching Mexican songs to the children. She took interest in learning guitar possibly from her father who used to play guitar. She attended the Catalina High School. Here, she met Bobby Kimmel, her senior and a local folk musician, who later shifted to Los Angeles. During this time she and her siblings Peter and Susie used to perform gigs around Tucson tagging themselves as the, the Three Ronstats and the Union City Ramblers among others. She joined the University of Arizona in Tucson, but after a semester she dropped out to join Bobby in Los Angeles. After joining Bobby in Los Angeles in December 1964, she teamed up with him and Kenny Edwards. They formed Stone Ponies, a folk rock trio where she became the lead vocalist. In 1966, they were signed by Capitol Records and in 1967 their first two albums The Stone Ponies and Evergreen Volume 2 were released. Evergreen Volume 2 garnered moderate success with only one hit song, Different Drum. The trio parted ways prior to the release of their third album, Linda Ronstadt, Stone Ponies and Friends, Volume 3. In 1969, her solo record Hand Sewn. Homegrown was released by Capitol Records. During the late 60s and the 70s she appeared as herself in several television shows including It's Happening, 1968-69, Cher, 1975, and It's Saturday Night Live, 1977 onwards. She also lent her voice for several commercials. In 1970s, she toured extensively with Neil Young, The Doors, and others. In 1971 she toured for a while with a backing band that included players like Randy Meisner, Glenn Fry, Don Henley and Bernie Leadon who later formed The Eagles. She did not have much success even though some of her solo albums including Silk Purse, 1970, and Different Drum, 1974, a compilation of her songs including few from the Stone Ponies, were released in the early 70s. Her first album with Asylum Records, Don't Cry Now, 1973, was received well which later garnered a double platinum certification. Her real breakthrough came with Heart Like a Wheel in 1974 which emerged as a chart topper and made her a household name. She received her first Grammy Awards in 1975 as the Best Female Country Vocalist for the song I Can't Help It, If I'm Still in Love With You, from the album. Greatest Hits, 1976, a compilation of her songs remains one of her highest-selling albums garnering sales of more than 7 million units. Her other chart busters followed including Simple Dreams, 1977, 
and living in the USA, 1978, making her the first female arena-class rock star. She remained the most successful and top-selling female singer of the 70s with most of her albums going platinum. Her 1980-released album Mad Love with Asylum also went platinum and reached the fifth position on the Billboard album chart. In 1983, she treaded a new music genre, the traditional pop music with her album, What's New, which received a triple platinum certification in the U.S. Her success story continued with Lush Life, 1984, and For Sentimental Reasons, 1986, both going platinum. In 1987, she released her all-Spanish album, Canciones de mi Padre, which consists of a number of traditional Mexican songs, as a tribute to her Hispanic heritage.